Hey, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 71. I am your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai. And it is a dreary Sunday here in New Hampshire. It's about 11 o'clock. We just did the time change today, so it feels later, of course. Uh, why do we do that? Why do we have a time change? I know, this is the easy one. The spring one is the tough one, but I don't know. Um, you will see that you're in about the similar position that you're normally in. All the lights are on, so it should be a good recording today. <laughs> should we jump right in? Um, first up, I want to say thank you to Darth Matter Knits. She sent me, or uh, gifted me, a copy of her Langstroth pattern, which is a super cute um, boy's sweater pattern. I'm going to just share it with you guys so you can see it too. Um, she gifted it to me after I finished Roland's sweater for Rhinebeck, Roland's Rhinebeck sweater. She thought it was a great, great project for me. I agree. That little guy's so cute too. So there you go. Um, I think it's like sizes 4 to 12. So if I knit the small size, I can knit him one. So that's that was very kind of her. Thank you. I do want to mention that she is um, a designer over on Rav Darth Matter Knits, and she is part of the Indie Gift Along 2013, and that is running until November 15th. You can get 25% off her patterns. So I don't know if a lot of designers are in on that, but I looked on her page and I saw it, so I thought I'd mention it. All right. So this past week was a productive week for the podcast group. I guess I'll say it like that. We finished up two knit alongs. So excited about that. So the first one that wrapped up this week was, nope, was the baby blanket knit along. I'm sorry. I've had difficulties. I know. I typically like to bring everything up and have it all ready to go. And so, okay. Yes. 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 Okay, uh, baby blanket, knit along. There were, are you ready for this? 74 completed blankets. I think that's crazy. Yeah, 74 posts. Makes me so, so happy for you guys. So, and this is for real the last month. <laughs> I'm not dreaming again. I'm just gonna open my random number generator, which should be on this page, and why. Okay, so let me just say that I like to get the, what I think of as administrative prize drawing stuff out of the way first thing. And so once this is done, then we'll get into what the show is typically like. If you're a new viewer, I don't typically waste this much time uh, fighting with my iPad. <laughs> but we have two prize drawings to do, and actually it's more than that because the color prize drawing. So here we go, 2 through 74 generate. Winner is... Number 60. So if I hop back to the group, ba, 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 ba. Uh, number 60 was SKL Blum. And she did um, a, baby, a blanket that she's saying looks complicated but actually is quite simple. It's called the Milestones by Amy Alexander. And here's what it looks like. It's, of course, a beautiful teal color. Well, not of course, but I didn't knit it, but if I had, it would be. So, that's awesome. So, um, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Ski Bum. Sorry, Ski Bum is her name. So, Ski Bum, you have won a skein of Three Use Twisted in Fiber Cashew, which is a gorgeous pink-brown color. Um, and that is an 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon yarn. It was a club color a while back and it just it needs a good home so ski bum shoot me a pm and i'll get this in the mail to you so that's first next up we have the knitting samurai plus one colorway knit along that wrapped up this past week we have 18 17 finished objects i do not have mine to show you hmm i will have to grab those but in the meantime Let's do some patterns. So, um, we have prizes. Here's what it's up this time. Two patterns of your choice. Well, one prize will be a pattern of your choice under $7. Another pattern of your choice under $7. And then the third individual is going to get a $25 gift certificate to Inspiration Dye Works. So, pretty exciting there. 
So I put in numbers 2 through 18. I know I had a post in there. So if I come up, obviously I don't get it. So number 16 is the first one. And number 16, you are, you are all on one page. 16 is Stevie B, who made some vanilla bean socks with, oh, pictured with a Tegan turtle. So Stevie B, yep, shoot me a mail. And you can get a pattern of your choosing. Second up, number 18, and that is the last one to finish, Betsy K. <laughs> she uh, did a shawl. Not sure what the pattern was. Oh yeah, I can't pronounce it either. So I'm just gonna blow it up for you to see. No, I'm not. Oh my God, I'm so inept this week. <laughs> How about I hit the same button five times? So there's her shawl there on the bottom. And then lastly, so that's Betsy K. The last person who's going to get the $25 gift certificate will be <gasps> number eight. And that is a Seashore Knitter. Woohoo! Congratulations. She stayed up way too late to finish her pair of self striping socks. So there you go. The knit along was so much fun. Thank you all for participating. Thank you so much to Laura from Inspiration Dye Works, who is a Grammy. So congratulations to her. Super exciting news to hear that. And um, thanks guys. So yay, knit along, done. And so last time you saw me, I had my fingerless mitts. So those are done. And I have since, well, and the time before that, you saw me with my completed baby hat and now I have two finished leg warmers to go with it so out of one skein of yarn right they're bigger at the top for the little baby thighs um so this is a cute little set but out of one skein of yarn I got three FOs so I was pretty excited about that myself so yay <laughs> and no I'm not sick of knitting with the color I still love it and I have two more skeins in my stash so you may see me knitting with these colors again in the near future so right now let's see I'm gonna turn off the iPad it's irritating me okay so what have you seen before well you've seen the not that <laughs> this bag it's my soft bag my Jessalou stitch by Jessalou breast cancer awareness bag it's got some uh, lint on it but it's a very nice bag this these are my, sorry, no sock blockers today. Um, Tri-corner cable socks. And as you can see, the first one's finny off the needles. And you can see that little cable running up the top of the foot. Hopefully you can see the color pretty well. Um, they are very Christmassy. <laughs> this is Knit Picks Felici in the discontinued color Jingle. You may still be able to get some from their website, but I think it's like $3.50 a ball. It's super cheap. So I really enjoyed knitting these. Um, there are, so there's one cable up the top of the foot and then there are three cables on the leg and just two by two rib on the rest of it. And that's it, pretty straightforward knit. I did do, um, I, don't, I don't think I followed the pattern instructions and did a heel flip heel on the first one. And then the second one, because I do like to knit my socks parallel, is mid row <laughs> well we'll just leave it there and that one i'm past the heel so i've turned this heel as well and i'm about an inch up the leg so for comparison's sake i have ooh, that much to go so i'm really um they were fine to knit these but i feel like i've been knitting them for a while and i'm kind of out of love with them so I just want to be done and I actually already, when the needles freed up from this, I cast on, I have like a little tiny bit, I'm not even going to show you, my next vanilla socks. So those are on the needles, just straight, no patterning. <laughs> well, I say that, I like a two by two sock, but um, yeah, and the cables on these are like every four and it's not like it's a huge deal, but I have to pay attention just that little bit and that's not what I want from my sock knitting, typically. So of water um i am knitting the vivid 
I did not do a square this week. I burned, I bust through five squares in one week, right? And my goal was to do a square week. So maybe I just did them all ahead so that <laughs> I could have four weeks off and then pick it back up. But I will get back to it. It's just right now it's time to start thinking about Christmas knitting and that Vivid is not for anyone. So um, it's going to get put, put aside for a little bit here. Uh, Leading Man Fiber Arts, if you remember, I did do a sweater's worth of yarn from them in the industrial colorway. I had a quandary last week. Oh, man, Rome. Why do I do this to you? I had a quandary last week about what to do, and I ended up, because my stitch count was off when it was time, when the yoke was the correct length, it was time to split off for the sleeves. So I uh, consulted a much-loved pattern, the PZ, and looked at how many stitches she had you cast on at the underarms and it was like 16 and the vodka gimlet has you casting on four and I decided okay so if I sub in the 16 stitches there how much does that save me how many rows does that save me so I ended up splitting the difference and instead of doing the adding one more inch onto the yoke I don't think that'll be a big deal and then picking up those extra stitches in my cast on at the other underarm so here's where I am now <laughs> I'm I did this on Tuesday, I want to say three, four rows past that point. And it's just, it's going along very well. I still love this yarn. It is so soft and squishy. Gorgeous colorway. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alternating the two skeins. Um, I want to say I have about half of each left. So, and that is riding in my bird leg bags bag. Ever, ever. I love the color. I've always been a box bag person. Um, I just have. They're what I like. Well, first I started with drawstring bags, but then once I wanted zippers, I went to box bags. But I tell you, these bird leg bags, the wedges, this one and my Sherlock Holmes one are really converting me. I like the wedge. I like that I can just peer in. It sits open. It sits open on its own. There's lots of space, whereas the box bag, you know, wants to be closed. So... I think, I think I'm converting to wedges. So, um, again, same thing with this. This is for me. So it's sort of, sort of on the back burner. Not really. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it, but I'm mindful of what else I need to be working on right now. But, oh, and because I know I've talked about the vodka gimlet, I don't know, some toy just fell, but I haven't actually shown it to you in a way that you could see it. Maybe you can see it now. So I have to, I think like five or six inches until I, well, probably five at this point, until I start that cool waist detail. And that's really what makes a sweater. But I'm, I'm big into the sweaters with no buttons right now. Find them much more wearable. Oh, speaking of sweaters, this is my classic, very old, uh, February lady sweater. This was Cascade 220 in a chartreuse, is that green? Whatever, like like this color like neon green and I had two sweaters worth of stuff because I didn't understand and I just kept buying a skein here and there every time I went to the store and so once I figured out how much yarn a sweater takes I over dyed it with a blue tail color and then I knit it up so this is kind of crunchy <laughs> I'm not a dyer <laughs> but I was really happy to to do it and to knit with it and so yeah it's a weekend sweater what can I say um so speaking of Christmas knitting and to that end I bring them over here? Seriously? <laughs> I am such... They're sitting on the counter. I'll be right back. I know. I know. It's magic, right? It's this amazing thing called editing. So this past week... Okay, yesterday, to be honest. Yeah. I got a little nervous that Christmas is coming and I haven't really thought about my Christmas knitting. I was working on the Snowball Bunnies. Buddies. But... Um, and I'll get back to them. It's time for them to come out. Like, I fully expect to see them next week. I've got the hot glue gun. I need to put noses on things. But thinking about Roland's two teachers, like his primary teachers, and, you know, my best friend, I typically knit something for her. And uh, my mother-in-law, what am I going to do there? <laughs> and am I going to do anything for my dad? And I haven't knit Steve socks, and I really don't think he needs socks, and he doesn't like hats. So anyways, all this going through my head, right? And it's getting close. Like, we are eight, seven Fridays away now. Seven Fridays away from the day. So uh, yesterday I did a little quick stash diving 
and I pulled out a skein of Dreaming Color Classy in the Dusky Aurora colorway and I cast on for the Peekaboo Mitts by Abby Gregario. <laughs> I hope you laugh at me with my pronunciations. Anyways, I cast these on yesterday. I want to say it took me like four and a half, five hours to knit these. I was done by the eight, by 10 o'clock last night when I went to bed. And that include chasing a toddler around the house. Like I knit during his nap is when I started. So I started at one and by, no, nine, by nine I was done. And we had dinner, we had tub, we had all kinds of, you know, all the typical activities. So um, these are really great mitts. I love how high they come. My hands are a bit big for them. I will say that. Uh, just because some of the along the increases you could see a bit of skin and I know that so if I were knitting these for me I'd add like two stitches To what the pattern it is a free pattern over on wrap. I plan to knit a pair for So this is for Jenny. I'm sure his teachers don't watch so these are for Jenny and the dusky Aurora Really nice. I love them so quick so quick. I need to weave in my ends, but I even did the thumbs I got up this morning and did thumbs uh, And then the second pair I'm knitting could this be an uglier colorway? <laughs> I, I'm torn whether or not I even tell you what color this is because I really, really don't like it. But, and I'm not sure it's a good gift, you know, giving someone something you personally don't like. But I also know that Brie is a crazy young thing and um, this would match a lot of her wardrobe. <laughs> I don't know how to say this nicely, but she might like this. Then again, she might not. So I'm going to just do it because sometime I need to use this yarn. So now is as good as any. But um, <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they're like, I, it's, <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, so those are on the needle. So I'm going to knit at least that. I might knit a pair for my boss as well because she eyes my fingerless gloves when it's cold in the office and I pull mine on. But mine are... A pattern I made up and it's all this lacy cable it's laces cables and baubles on the top of the hand with a semi-solid cashmere yarn it's they're just beautiful mitts and that's not at all what these are so I don't know but I do know that a five-hour project to give someone a handmade gift that they're gonna be like oh these are so functional thank you for thinking of me is a great thing so those are in the nails. Um, I really want to knit my best friend a pair of the fiber trends felted clogs little tiny feet I uh, that was probably I know I knit a couple pairs my mom did too when we were in when I was in, when I was in high school but who knows where that pattern is she doesn't knit anymore at all um, got rid of all of her knitting stuff before I took it up and um, like seriously took it up I should say seriously took it up in 03 so which really what was she doing I graduated high school in 99, so for those four years in college, it was like she couldn't get rid of the knitting stuff fast enough. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I wanted to knit her a pair of uh, felted clogs because I think they would really go with her aesthetic. I think I've talked about this before. And um, I texted her yesterday just teasingly and said, slippers or socks, hats or mittens? And she wrote back and said, hat. I'm like, Ugh, no, you were supposed to. <laughs> that wasn't the one I wanted you to pick. So we'll see, but there's I've definitely, I have to knit for her because I've knit for her husband and she kind of, she doesn't expect it, but she definitely appreciates it. A Stephanie hand knit. And she says that every year. Oh, I want to get Stephanie hand knit. So anyways, lastly on the needles, because I've chattered quite a bit, are the um, Baby Leg Warmers by Pearl Soho. And this is a skein of, I think, did I show this to you last time? You probably didn't see it. <laughs> Um, this is a skein of Socks That Rock in the medium weight with, it's the Hobbit Garden colorway, and I am knitting these on, I didn't write it down, these are size threes. And yeah, so these are a baby gift for a friend that's due after Christmas. So as much fun as they are to knit, I can kind of put these on hold, like way after Christmas. I can kind of put these on hold until the Christmas knitting is done and sort of focus myself over there. So, very pretty though. Yeah, I really like them. Super simple pattern. It's so nice in it with socks that rock. And while I'm working on this, I'm actually thinking of, it's way ahead, but I've actually thought of my 2014 goal 
one of my goals for next year is going to be knit all of my Rhinebeck yarn from this year. I know. But if I can get through it all, I will go to Rhinebeck. If I can't, I need to not go to Rhinebeck because that is a huge, huge surge in my yarn uh, stash. And if I'm not going to work through it, then why am I adding more? So I tend to go and glow gorge on socks that rock yarn but you've been watching me for a while how often do I knit with it not very often I love the colors but I I I have challenged to find a place to use them because they are so bright and crazy so that's what I have to say I know I know <laughs> I hope you are having a great early nope late fall early winter late fall late fall um, I had some really cute Halloween footage that I erased the camera. I know, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Anyways, so um, rest assured, Roland was a super cute little cookie monster running around. Oh, I'll tell you a story in lieu of a video. So. We went with some of our friends that have, they have a seven-year-old and a three-year-old. And so the seven-year-old, some of her friends and their parents came, and then we were kind of hanging out with the two-year-old, uh, two with the three-year-old, Roland and Simon. They're same size. They, they're they almost friends. They're not quite friends yet. They don't know they're supposed to be friends yet. So we're in the, like, I don't know, the big girls are running ahead, and the little boys are trying to keep up, and Cookie Monster is running, all out running up people's lawns to get there and be with the big kids, and he's carrying one piece of candy the whole time. He's got his mittens on because it was cold. He's got one piece of candy, trick or treat, and they give him another one. Mama! Bag! <laughs> and so then I'd walk, and he'd put it in the bag, and then he'd tear off after the big kids again. So it was just the cutest thing. And at one house, Simon, who's, I, think, I want to say he's three and a half now. May baby. So whatever that makes him. Three and a half, yeah. Um, he stops, right? I, I, Steve was holding Roland's hand. He stops, turns around, and says, Roland, give me your hand. And so they... They hold hands and they start walking up to the house on their own and we're all like, oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. And then Simon stops and he turns and he looks at me and he says, I take care of him. And they kept going and the big kids, because there were some teenagers behind them, they stood back, they let the two little boys like uh, 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 up the steps onto the porch and the people give them their candy. It was so cute. Oh my God. And so if you could picture... Simon was Spider-Man and Cookie Monster. So Spider-Man and Cookie Monster unite. <laughs> so that was our Halloween shenanigans. And I know you guys have seen what he looked like as Cookie Monster, but it was pretty cute. So I hope you enjoy the month of November. I know it's not as cool as October and September with their beautiful leaves, but it's my birthday month and I think it's great. So I will see you in about 10 days or so. Take care.